the Eiffel Tower. The symbol of Paris. Its construction began in 1887 and lasted for over 26 months. It towers 321 meters high and for 40 years it was the world's tallest man-made structure. Despite its lightweight appearance, it weighs some 9,000 tons. A group of architects and workers were employed to design and build this monument. Even if you have never seen these people erecting the Eiffel Tower, you would certainly know that it had been built by a group of people. Now, if somebody approached you and told you that there had once been a large iron reserve in the tower's vicinity, and that in fact, the tower had been formed after a huge explosion, you would judge this to be utter nonsense. The same thing is true for all the other great works of art around the world. The Taj Mahal. the Great Wall of China, the Roman Colosseum, the monumental busts of four American presidents on top of Mount Rushmore. and the pyramids of Egypt. All these works were designed and built by architects and builders. The huge megaliths of Britain's Stonehenge give mute evidence of the existence of an earlier civilization. All these examples demonstrate one truth. Small or large, all structures which require a detailed design and order were designed and built by someone. But what about this endless universe of ours? The extraordinary balance that guides it. The millions of living species all with different characteristics. Thinking that all we see around us came into being as a result of a coincidence is even more ridiculous than claiming that the Eiffel Tower came together as the result of an explosion. Without a doubt, the balance evident in every single corner of the universe was designed by a power. This power is Almighty Allah, the endless power who created everything in the universe with all its splendor. The universe contains endless evidence that proves Allah's existence and might. And man knows all this through using his mind. In a verse of the Quran, 
people are told that they can find the signs of Allah in nature. In the creations of the heavens and earth, and the alternation of the night and day, and the ships which sail the seas to people's benefit, and the water which Allah sends down from the sky, by which He brings the earth to life when it was dead and scatters about in it creatures of every kind, and the varying directions of the winds, and the clouds subservient between heaven and earth. There are signs for people who use their intellect. What you will see in this film are just a few of the countless signs of Allah in nature. Almost everywhere in the world there is life to be found, sometimes visible, sometimes not. Over two million living species are spread across the width and breadth of the globe, including single-celled organisms, insects, sea creatures, plants and animals. Even a handful of dirt is home to organisms which have entirely unique characteristics. The air we breathe is full of organisms. There are organisms living under our skin which we have even not heard of. Millions of bacteria in single-celled organisms live in the intestines of larger animals to help them digest their food. The Earth's animal population is much larger than its human population. If we think of all the humans, animals and plants found worldwide, we readily see that there is not a single area on the face of the earth which isn't home to some living being. All these trillions of creatures have unique bodily systems, lives, and contributions to make to the world. All of them have a purpose for existence. None of these creatures were formed through their own decision and effort. All of them have very complex bodily designs and the creator of this design is Allah. This is how Allah tells in the Quran how he created the multitude of species on earth. Allah created every animal from water. Some of them go on their bellies, some of them on two legs and some on four. Allah creates whatever He wills. Allah has power over all things. The human body is one piece of testimony for Allah's art of creation. Both the inside and outside of our body includes endless evidence for believing in Allah. We can easily see the excellence of Allah's work just by looking at the outer appearance of the human body. The symmetry of the human body requires two arms, two legs, a body and a head. This symmetry is made up of perfect ratios. Every human being has a body which is eight times as large as the head.
Our faces are three times as long as our noses. The distance between our two eyes is the size of another eye. The ratio between our arms and legs was calculated in the best way possible. The human body is the most perfect machine in the world, and just like any machine, it displays the knowledge and capability of the power that designed it. The inside of the human body, too, is full of wonders. The human brain is made up of, on average, 10 billion nerve cells. These cells are connected to each other with 100 trillion connections. Now, the number 1 trillion is far beyond our comprehension. To get a better grasp of how large this number really is, let's try to think of a giant region which is 30 times as large as England. If we assume that the whole of this area is covered with trees and that each tree has 10,000 leaves on it, then the total number of leaves across this entire region is equal to the number of nerve connections in our brain. All these messages traveling to and from the brain travel at the staggeringly high speed of 320 kilometers per hour. The nerves between your brain cells and the rest of your body are like express highways used to convey information between the body and the brain. In short, our bodies are witness to a breathtakingly busy traffic each and every moment of our lives. Thousands of individual messages come and go between the body and the brain in the space of a single second. Between 100,000 to 1 million chemical reactions take place in our brains in just one minute. Even as you sit and watch this film, Hundreds of messages are being shuttled between your brains and muscles with each thousandth of a second that passes by. These messages include information about what you're seeing. You're leaning backwards as you sit. You're understanding what you watch. The beating of your heart. Your breathing. The blinking of your eyes. Your hair growing. You're picking up smells and you're hearing. You would have to write out pages and pages of chemical formulas if you wanted to explain just one of these functions. Just one mistake in these formulas would have caused your body to lose its balance. You could have poked your fingers in your eyes while combing your hair or stumbled and fallen while trying to walk. However, Allah has created man in such excellence that we can perform the most complicated tasks flawlessly. In return, we should give thanks to Allah for creating us. Each of our five senses, seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, tasting, is a miracle in itself. Humans know the outside world through these senses, a boon that makes things easy for us.
The details we grasp through our five senses remind us once again of Allah's artistry in creation. All of the five senses are designed expressly to meet a human's needs. For example, our ears can perceive sound vibrations only within a certain range. This range is called the hearing threshold and it is ideal for everyone. If on the other hand we had extremely sensitive ears, we would have had to put up with all kinds of extraneous noises such as our own heartbeat or noises made by tiny insects. This would have been extremely annoying. The same fine-tuning has been applied to our sense of touch. The nerves under the skin which are sensitive to touch are designed and distributed in the best way possible. For example, in our fingertips, where we need the most sensitive touch, there are far more nerve endings than other parts of the body. For instance, there are far fewer nerve endings in areas such as the back where they are not highly functional. Our skin might seem somewhat simple, but it's actually a very complex structure. It is formed by a number of layers and it has nerves for perceiving, circulatory channels, a ventilation system, and controls which adjust according to the temperature and humidity. Our skeletons are truly an epitome of flawless engineering, a masterpiece formed by 206 separate bones. The human body has an extraordinary capability for movement by using all these pieces connected to each other. Even robot hands designed by scientists and engineers in recent years have fallen far short of matching the standard set by the human hand. When we examine the bones that collectively make up our skeleton, we are witness to an excellent design. To appreciate this design better, let's look at an example from modern day technology. The scaffolding structure is used in the construction of large towering buildings. The support elements of the constructions made with this technique consist of many intersecting rods forming a scaffold. Buildings have been made much more durable through complex calculations made with computers. But the inner structure of our bones is immeasurably more complex than this man-made system. Due to their unique structure, our bones are extremely strong and yet light enough for comfortable use. The joints where our bones are connected to each other give ample evidence for creation. Joint surfaces exposed to friction are covered with a thin, porous cartilage layer. Underneath this layer is a lubricant. Whenever the bone compresses the joint, this lubricant gushes out of the pores and makes the joint surface slide as if on oil. Humans, due to this excellent design, can very easily perform a very large range and number of movements. All this serves to show that the human body is the product of flawless design. It is Allah who created this design. In the Quran, Allah calls on people to consider a singular fact. Look at the bones how we raise them up and clothe them in flesh.
The heart is one of the most crucial organs of our bodies, and so it is placed in the safest area. It is placed inside our rib cage to provide protection against outside blows. Our hearts start beating while we're still in our mother's wombs, and they continue to beat 70 to 100 times a minute without ever stopping. They rest for only a half second between each beat, and the average heartbeat of a healthy person is 10,000 beats per day. Over the course of a lifetime, this adds up to 255 million heartbeats. Our hearts have four chambers, which help to pump oxygenated and deoxygenated blood to different areas of our bodies without mixing them with one another. All these chambers have their own valves which open and close with every heartbeat. And with all these elements, our hearts display a perfect design. This perfect structure shows us that the heart was formed by a creator. And that creator was Allah, who is the Lord of all the worlds. Allah says in the Quran, That is Allah, your Lord. There is no God but Him, the creator of everything. So worship Him. He is responsible for everything. Buttoning a sweater, writing or chopping food. We perform all these simple looking but complex tasks with our hands, which again are an embodiment of flawless engineering. The most important characteristic of a hand is that it can function efficiently in a large number of areas. Our arms have many muscles and nerves which serve to help our hands to hold objects firmly or gently. The human body has many sensitive balances. All these systems working together help us continue our vital functions without difficulty. What's more, we don't face any problems when our bodies perform these functions. We don't notice the food being digested in our stomachs, our hearts beating, the rush of blood flowing through our body. We don't even notice that we see or hear. There is a perfect system in our bodies, and this system runs perfectly. Our bodies are the creation of Allah, who puts everything in the universe into a set order. In the following verse, Allah tells people to ponder their own creation. O oh man, what has deluded you in respect of your noble Lord? He who created you, informed you, and proportioned you. Living and surviving at the poles is a tricky business. But animals living in these areas are equipped with special bodily systems that help them endure these difficult conditions. Polar bears have wide paws covered with fur. And they can run quickly across the ice, 
due to a surface under their paws which keeps a firm grip on the ground. The eyes of these bears also display a miracle. They have an eyelid filter. This membrane-like filter acts as a sort of natural pair of sunglasses, protecting the bears from going blind. Getting warm is the greatest problem for creatures living in low temperatures. But this problem was also solved through a very detailed design. Polar bears have a 10 centimeter thick layer of fat providing them with insulation. But the real miracle is hidden in the structure of the hair which forms their fur. This fur is formed by long hair surrounded by short hair. The long white hairs are in fact transparent. These bears look white when the polar sunlight is reflected from these hairs. These hair fibers work like optical tubes that trap the heat and prevent it from escaping. They absorb the warmth and channel it straight to the bear's black skin without losing any of the precious heat. By virtue of this flawless system, polar bears are insulated against the cold. Looking at bears through an infrared camera, the massive beast shows up looking the same color as the surrounding ice. The only exception is his breath when he exhales. This shows us that polar bears were created by Allah in the best possible way to adapt to their environment. This is yet further evidence of an excellent creation. Eagles can fly at altitudes of thousands of meters high and they are equipped with eyes which help them see a wealth of details on the ground far below. An eagle's eye has a 300 degrees vision. When needed, it can enlarge an object six to eight times larger than it first appeared. While flying at an altitude of 4,300 meters, they can scan an area some 30,000 hectares around them. From 1,500 meters up, they can notice the smallest movement or difference of color so as to locate their prey. The eagle owes this superior eyesight to the large number of light-sensitive cone cells present in the retina of the eyes. These cells gather up light and send the information to the brain. The number of cone cells in the human eye, by contrast, is much less than the eagle's. The difference between the two is what gives the eagle its keen eyesight. Using it, eagles can easily spot their prey. But it isn't the eagle that's behind the good eyesight. Rather, it is Allah who designed this perfect system. Allah reveals this truth in one of his verses. There is no creature he does not hold by the forelock. In this film, we've been able to show you just a bit of the overflowing signs of Allah. We've seen that when we look at every little detail present in the world, Allah makes us aware of His existence. Being aware of this fact and remembering it is our responsibility. 
Allah says, It is Allah who created the seven heavens and of the earth the same number. The command descending down through all of them so that you might know that Allah has power over all things and that Allah encompasses all things in His knowledge. Think about the things that are offered to you by Allah. You're living in a world that has been designed and formed especially for you. You didn't do anything to make your way to this world or its wondrous order. You made no contribution to any of these things. You only opened your eyes one day and found yourself in the midst of all these blessings. You can see hear and feel. But all this happened only because Allah willed to create you. In return, He only asked us to be grateful to Him, as He maintained in the Quran. Allah brought you out of your mother's wombs knowing nothing at all, and gave you hearing, sight, and heart so that perhaps you would show thanks.